how to film a reel without pre-filming it or having to edit it. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Hello, hi, I'm Katie and welcome back if you're a channel subscriber. You're the best. If you are new, then don't forget to hit that subscribe for all those good vibes. So today I'm bringing you a video which has been highly requested over on my Instagram. It's how to film a reel without pre-filming it or having to edit it. Literally so simple, you do it all with a tripod and a light. This light is very bright right now, but when I put the um, umbrella over it, it's just not bright enough because it's quite a dark day. So yeah, that's all you need. Two things, your phone, your tripod. You can use natural light, or if you have a ring light or a bright light, use one of those too. So I'm gonna make it really simple, nice and short, and just let's get on with it. So I'm actually just gonna film one just to show you guys how I do it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys really simply how I do it. So I'm gonna go onto Instagram, then we're going to go into that plus top on the corner there. The first thing to do, I would say, is pick your music. Um, find something that's going to suit the video that you are filming. I know it sounds obvious, but you don't want something like slow if you're going to be modeling, like upbeat and cheery. So this is video specifically for like fashion um, reels, preferably. But you can obviously use it to any sort of thing. So what I quite like is, um, okay, so I picked the song. You can pick which section of the song you want as well on that bit. So you can scroll across to choose to the part of the song that you want. It's really, really simple. And then this one, the next one down, controls the speed of your timing. So if you leave it on what it is, that's just normal time. If you go down, these are slowing it down. And if you go up, these are speeding it up. So I, so far, have only ever used it on two times. So I'm just two times in how fast I'm filming it. So it doesn't mean that I have to then walk fast. It's gonna do all of that for me, okay? So I'm just gonna model how I'm normally modeling, like, hey, yeah, this is my lovely blazer. And then it's gonna speed it up for me. Um, and then this one is if you want any effects on there. So we don't like filters too much, but you know, if you want to add anything, like this one is sparkly, this one says good morning. There's all different ones you can get, obviously, but I'm not gonna use any filters on there today. Then this one is the most important one. So this is the timer. You basically need to decide how many outfits you're gonna film. Something quite easy to do would be three looks or three ways to style one thing because it would set it into five seconds, five seconds, and five seconds. Because if you don't know, Instagram Reels is only five, 15 seconds long. So that way you know you've got five seconds to model your first outfit, five seconds for your second, and five seconds for your third, which sounds very obvious, but again, something you may not have thought of. So I have done it before with about three seconds on each video for five outfits. So that's what I'm gonna to do today is five outfits. So I'm gonna take the time down to whatever you want. So I'm gonna do three seconds and then set timer. So then when I start this, it gives me three seconds to get into position before I start modeling. So now I'm just gonna switch these up. So this needs to go where my tripod is now. And I'm gonna show you from a different angle how I film it. Okay, so then when you've set your tripod up, you obviously need to make sure that your feet are gonna be in the video um, or whatever parts of you that you want in the video, they're gonna be in the video. You need to get yourself ready, get my shoes on and get my bag. And then when I'm ready, I think I'm gonna do three ways to style this blazer. That's what we're gonna do, just decided. Okay, so then I'm gonna go record three seconds. So I've recorded my three seconds. So let me just show you guys and then you can watch it back with me. So this is very, very simple. I'm just going to uh, move that out of the way. Oh, hey. <laughs> so then we click this back button here to see what you've just recorded. So this is the first one. So that's super easy, I hope. And then if we like that, we keep it. If we don't like it, we press the X. If there's a bit you wanna cut out, you click the crop. And then you could adjust it here to how much you wanna crop. 
Okay, and then we're gonna click done. Ooh, hey. <laughs> and then we're gonna do exactly the same again. But if you want to now, this is quite fun me filming here. If you want to then make yourself appear in the exact position you were in, but in a different outfit, you then click, oh, this is so weird filming it like this with me on the screen. You then click this one, so the bottom one, it's called a line. And as you can see, I'm very faint where I was in that position. So then I would get into my next outfit and go back into this position. And then I would set the timer again for the right timer that I want. So I'm gonna do another three seconds. So we're gonna take it up to six. Set timer. And then I would press it again. It gives me three seconds to get back into the position. Um, obviously I'm gonna go, <laughs> obviously I'm actually gonna go and change. Um, and then I will report back on the final few steps. But that is how simple it is. And I feel like that is an exp explanation in itself. It took me a little while to figure out, um, but that's how I work it and how I like to work it. If you want it to be super smooth transitions, then maybe consider filming it first and cropping it down on iMovie, something like that. Like for me, I'm not too worried about the transitions being perfect. That's not my niche. I'm here to show you guys um, fashion and show you guys how to make things a bit easier. Um, so yeah, I hope that was really useful. I will just go and change and then um, just show you how I do that next little bit and then hopefully you guys all got it. Okay, so I'm in my second look and I'm gonna just film this for you guys. I will again do exactly what I did earlier, so just align myself. So I'm gonna go check the blanket. It's gonna take a while. You can see what I mean there, it can take a little while to get what you like. And then okay, so I'm in my third and final outfit. So I'm just gonna do the last bit. I just have to do three instead of five. Um, so I'm just clicking align again. Okay, so it's finished. I'm not really happy with it because I realise this is too high. But I'm gonna turn this volume down because it's my movie will hate me. Um, so this is what I would do now to add text. So say you want to add text over a specific part. You'd type what you wanted to write. So Zara, blazer, three ways. Pop it at the top. And then what you need to do, if you want that the whole video, you could just leave it like it is. If you only want that sum of the video, you need to reduce it down to where you want it. So I'm gonna leave it to there, just so I'm gonna do another one just to show you. Um, and then I'm just gonna put follow me for daily fashion inspo. Okay, in black, and then we're gonna put it above again. And then you make sure it's white, the one you wanna adjust. And then I don't want it the whole way through, so I'm gonna stop it to where the other one stops. And then leave it finished to the end. And then literally that is it. That is how simple it is. <laughs> I hope that that was useful for you guys. And it was kind of a, an, a roundabout way of me explaining it to you, but I just wanted to kind of do it and film it and do it in real life for you to get the most, the most clear way of doing it. Because I do find people do like tutorials of things and because they're not actually doing it there and then, sometimes you have to then go work it out on the screen or you just can't quite work it out yourself. And you're like, I still don't get how she did that. So I really hope that that was useful. If it was and you enjoyed and you want more videos that are explaining things like this, then definitely give this video a thumbs up now. Make sure you hit that subscribe for all the good vibes and join our Good Vibe tribe. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. I'm uploading at least four videos a week at the moment. So there's a lot of reason to be here and a lot of reason to stay around. Um, I have a Zara haul coming on Sunday, which is very exciting. Um, by the time you guys watch this, it may actually be live. I also have um, three weekly vlogs coming a week and a review. So lots of stuff coming up um, and an autumn styling haul. I said, loads of reasons to make sure you are part of the Good Vibe Tribe. So I'd love to see you again soon. Thank you so much for being here. Keep being amazing. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram at with love Katie and two underscores. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye. Also, if there's anything that you didn't make sense, we didn't.